Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do three different looks with the Lil Ghost palette between me and Odin's Eye. This is how mine is looking after I've been using it a bit. If you want to see more about this collection that's launching tomorrow the 20th of September, check the description box for more info and also don't forget to check the reveal video that was yesterday in case you missed it. I will link that down below but in my description box I will put as much info as possible about this new collaboration between me and Odin's Eye and this is the first palette that we have created together and tomorrow it's gonna be three looks with the second palette that we created together. I know there's two palettes and there's five different lippies as well so do check out the video from yesterday in case you want to see more info about the whole launch but today's video is gonna be all about doing three looks with this palette. I'm so excited to show you. Let's dive in. <laughs> So we are going to start out the first look by actually applying a little bit of radioactive which is the peachy gloss that has a little bit of a green shimmer to it. Thinking I'm going to do something playing with this purpley one and the red one and just I'm gonna do something coral and purple and then I'm gonna top it off with this shade here. But it is the duochrome shade and it also is a topper so it's gonna make this purple into the most magical shade. So we are gonna transform the purple, that's already a pretty shade, but we're gonna make it into something even more. But I'm gonna start up with broom stick over here in the outer corner and I'm gonna put the purple next to it. And now we're going to do the shade Lil Ghost in the inner... Oh, look at how pretty that is in the inner part of the crease. I'm going to use these exact shades on my lower lash line too. I'm going to use the shade Skeleton to just buff on the edge here and just make this a little... You can see it makes it a little lighter so that we can have the little bit of like almost gradient going into the shade up here and I'm also going to blend a little bit with that peachy shade but I'm blending some and I'm putting some of the purple in the inner corner too look at that like almost white lavender oh it's so pretty and I'm just blending the edge with this one and then I'm going back to Lil Ghost and I'm just reapplying a little bit just to make sure that we're not losing the intensity. So we're going to use the shade Omnius and we're going to use that on the middle of the lid and we're going to darken this up a little bit. I am going to spray this because I want to be as precise as possible with this shade and nothing needs to be perfect before we get everything on. Look at how beautiful that is absolutely love it but yeah nothing needs to be perfect before we get everything on the eyes so i'm just popping things down so it's going to look a little bit like this i haven't blended this edge yet either as you might see so maybe i'll actually do that now on the same eo4 i'm doing candy corn and i'm doing that out here and I'm going to blend out this edge with the peach and I'm also going to blend here on the lower lash line too. So that we get that like peach edge over here. So this is where we are right now and I mean this in itself is a look but I really want to layer magical on top maybe not that much oh my god this brush is just picking up so much product hold but i am gonna spray this and we are gonna layer a little bit here look at that it's just ugh. it's just so pretty this is one of the things when i was like trying out colors for this palette and like what fits and what does not fit and what color combos do i like i started out layering this shade on top of the purple and I was like okay that is a look that is a look for sure so we're doing it like this just where they meet and then we're gonna do a little brush and we're gonna do licorice which is that dark like plummy shade and we're just gonna use that a little bit in the outer corner To deepen this up and then we go over with broomstick again just to get this to like mix and match really good mats 
you can layer on top and they will mix together and you will get the shade that you're looking for. But yeah, this is the eye look. And I love it. So that is the first look and I'm so excited to finally be here and creating looks with this palette. I obviously love this one so much and this was one of the first color combos that I thought of like that I knew I wanted in the palette because I knew I wanted purple and blue but I also love having reds and peaches especially together with purples and I'm so excited that I was able to show you this look. I just think it's beautiful and this gloss 10 out of 10, absolutely love it. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the look. Let's get into look number two. It's time to do the second look and we're gonna do something blue. I'm gonna be working with the blues here, this light blue, and also this duochrome you can see is a pink to like a light blue uh, lavender. We're gonna be working with that. And I'm gonna do a smoky lower lash line and I'm gonna be starting with this darker blue um, first. And I am wearing the warm quicksand gloss over a darker lip liner on my lips cause I love this gloss. It's so beautiful. It's like a caramelly warm gloss, I love it. So we are gonna be putting this color all over our lower lash line. And I don't have any primer on my lower lash line, but this one is very pigmented. So as you can see, it's still working out pretty decent. And then we're going to put a little bit here in the outer corner. And I'm just, as you can see, I'm just smacking this on and just connecting with the lower lash line. And I'm also going to put a little bit here. just like that and we're gonna leave it like this and then we're gonna blend it out in a bit so now we're going in with the color haunted and I am gonna be blending this one on the edge and you know you can always go back and re-intensify that darker color if you want to but it is a nice foundation to have to make everything just more intense and I'm doing a little bit of a, not necessarily a wing situation, but just I'm taking it out a little bit on the side because I want this eye look to be a little bit like up, up and outwards. <laughs> I feel like that is like a tagline for a future superhero. I'm also going to be adding a little bit here. In the inner corner, not too much. Not as much as I would usually add. Just a little bit like that. And now with a small EO5, I'm going back with that dark blue and I'm just re-intensifying so that we get the depth and the intensity, but also the blend. I'm also gonna use a little bit of Haunted in the outer part of my lower lash line and I'm also gonna blend this part like smudge this part a little bit to just match the outer here so it's like smokes out to match the upper part so I cleaned off that brush and now I'm gonna use ghoulish which is the pastel blue and I am gonna be putting that in the middle Look at that pastel. This could be a matte look. This could be a matte look where we're gonna be layering a duochrome on top. And I have a sneaking suspicion that this is gonna be so beautiful. I mean, it already is. Like I said, this could be a matte look. Look at this. I'm just gonna be blending a little bit with the pastel on top as well. Not adding too much, but just a little bit on the edge. But look at that, look at that pastel. I mean, we can clearly see that this is a look. I would not have to add anything to this for this to be a look. So if you wanted to do an all matte, cause this is something, oh my God, I'm getting off track. This is supposed to be a one, one palette, three looks. But this was one of the things that I thought about when I made both of these palettes. I wanted to make sure that if you wanted to do monochromatic looks, you could monochromatic purple, monochromatic blue, monochromatic like 
uh, corally looks but also to give you shades that you can mix and match with different things and they would work together with different depths with different shades with different undertones so i made it i put a lot of effort into that but yeah this could definitely be a look but i want to do the the, the, the duochrome on top it is called boo which is my favorite shade name in this entire palette because it is boo exclamation point mind you so i am gonna spray this because we have a matte shadow on our lid and we want to make sure that this one is sticking so we're putting the shadow on top and look at how beautiful that is on top of the baby blue and you can see there is a little bit of the pinky duochrome i just think that this is so beautiful so this is the makeup look with the shimmer and without the shimmer and you can see like what you like and what you prefer i just wanted to show you this beautiful shimmer on the lid and how stunning it is so yeah let's just finish this up I mean, we all know that I love blue eyeshadow and this look is just so me. I love blue. The blue eyeshadows were some of the first one that I knew I wanted to have when I started creating these things. I knew I wanted to finally be able to put like my favorite like true blue shadows and I just love how this turned out. I just think it's so pretty. I'm so excited that I was able to show you this look. Let's get into the last one. We are going to play with contrasts and we are going to play with the neon. So we're going to do the third and final look with the little ghost palette. And I want to do the color combo that I laid out in this palette as being the blue, purple and the neon yellow. Can you see anything? So we're going to do purple and then deepen it up with this deep, deep plum color. We're going to be accenting with the neon and we're going to be doing a little bit of the blue here. I'm not 100% sure exactly what. I'm thinking it's probably going to be this light ghoulish color here. But we're starting with the main purple one and we're going to do somewhat of a cut crease not 100% but just like a little bit out here so I'm starting with little ghost out here on the like outer part of the crease and I'm just mapping out a little bit and we will be able to clean this up so I'm not too worried about how it's looking right now and I'm gonna do it approximately to the middle of my lid and then we are gonna be just winging it out a little bit and then blending the upper part. And again, I am going to be cleaning up under here, so don't worry too much about that. I'm going to use a little bit of skeleton just on top of this color. Not so that it's going to be super visible, but I'm going to be blending out this edge with this pastel lavender. Just to soften it a little bit and to make it all just seem a little bit more flowy. And we're going to be deepening up this little line as well. We just need to like clean it up first. We're doing a Q-tip with a little bit of just micellar water on it. And we are just going to be cleaning up a little bit underneath here. And now that we have cleaned up a little bit, we're going to go in with a little bit more of primer to sharpen it up even more. Okay, now that I have a little bit of that on, I will use the ghoulish shade, which is the blue. And I will put that on top. I will put on the lid. I won't bother with the outer corner because I already know that I will be putting the purple there as well. But just mapping the edge and out here. And what I will be doing is that I will use that purple also here in the outer corner and we are going to be dragging it out just a little bit so that we get this little almost smoky line out here and now we're going to go in i'm going to use a super small brush and i'm going to do licorice which i would love some licorice and i'm just gonna make this line sharp because this is the darkest of the purples. Look at that. Love that for me. Let's meet up a little bit on the lower lash line too. 
think that's cute. And let's do a little balloon next to it. Just popping that on next to the purple. And now we're gonna play with banana taffy, the yellow. I love the name banana taffy because I love banana taffy. Let me start by putting it on the lower lash line. And also in the inner corner. And then we're gonna put it the what's left here. These like super, super bright colors, there are like neons, they have a lot of white pigment in them to make them this bright and this light. So a lot of the times they don't work as layering shades. They work best on either to brighten up an edge. I'll make sure to do that in the look as well and show you how you can do that. Or as an inner corner or as a lid shade. They don't really work if you want to layer something on top of them due to the nature of a neon shadow. So we're just popping this in here. Oh, I love the color! Before I put on the lashes, I'll just do a little bit of white in my waterline. And on top of this, we'll do a little bit of the banana taffy. So this is what it looks with the yellow in the waterline versus nothing in the waterline. So let me put some lashes on and we can finish this look. I feel very dramatic. And remember, it is okay if it isn't picture perfect. It's okay if you didn't do an Instagram perfection blend. A lot of those things are photoshopped anyways. It doesn't really matter. It only needs to be good enough for you. So this is the third and final look with the little ghost palette. I am so excited that I decided to do something that was all matte, you know. That is something that I really love. I really appreciate. Of course, you could just add a little bit of the uh, purple lavender shimmer in between her if you wanted to. I just wanted to show you like a combo that I really like with this palette. And I hope you enjoy these looks. And like I said, this palette, this whole collection is being launched tomorrow on the 20th of September. I will put all the details in the description box together with like prices and time zones and bundles and all of that. And I will also leave a link to the reveal video where you can see swatches and just my thoughts between each and every one of those pieces in this collection. So yeah, check the description box for more info. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you again tomorrow where I'm gonna do three looks with this trick or treat palette, the second palette that we're launching. Okay, have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.